in the last round, you are very tired, you, you want to give only single shot. Oh, very good, very good. Keep it distant, not too close, not too far. If I step it, really go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, so you keep me distant every time. Hop. What's up guys? Welcome back to the MMA rumor. Conor McGregor had just released footage of him training. This may be a hint to a potential return. As many people know Conor, unexpectedly retired for the third time last week. Many people believe this to be a negotiation tactic. As mentioned by his trainer, he is into later rounds. Conor is notorious for not having championship level cardio, despite this, he still show power and seems to be in great shape. Conor has recently shown more of a traditional boxer's style, and he seems to have more pop in his punches, which is crazy to think about. Since Conor was always known for his snappy punches. Dana White clarifies his comments on Conor. But the fights that are coming up this summer are awesome. It's going to be awesome. Just to clarify, I think you said something about how Connor could have had that replacement fight against Tony. Oh, yeah. Thank you for asking me that question. <laughs> the that I have read this week, I started scrolling through. Dana White rips Connor McGregor. Dana White. But what? When did I rip Connor McGregor? The media is so fully and the headlines are such bullshit. It's unbelievable. You literally can't believe anything you read. Now, is there anybody in this room that didn't know when I announced, I said, if this could be, if this could be a Tony fight, if somebody falls out, Connor's going to be the replacement. Who doesn't remember that? Right? That was the deal. The deal was I talked to Connor. Then Connor came back and said, I'm not a replacement fighter. I'm not going to do it. Long before the fight ever fell out. But Connor was saying before that fight fell out that, that it, w it would fall out. He said, one of these two are going to fall out, and then I'll, 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 I'll slide in and take the fight. <clears throat> then when the fight fell out, you know, the coronavirus was going on, and all everything started to shut down, and we were looking at, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, casino in California. Never did Connor turn down a last-minute fight. He told us way before that that he was out of the fight, and we never even asked him again. So I do one interview where I'm explaining on the radio how this happened, and all these idiots start writing stories that I ripped them and that I said he wouldn't take the fight and everything else. It's all b absolute f bullshit. And the only thing that was stupider than the f stories they wrote was the headlines that they put on it. It's f unbelievable. You literally cannot believe anything you read. And if you, if you went in and searched, the whole top thing was bullshit stories about Connor, me ripping Connor and me saying that Connor turned down a fight. Well, I think that was the confusion. He didn't turn down the fight in Jacksonville, right? You never asked him? Exactly. So when Connor, I was telling you guys, Connor McGregor will be the replacement. And you guys were like, well, holy shit, the gate will already be sold. You know, and the gates five and a half, six million. Connor would have done maybe fucking, you know, I said, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do that? It is what it is, but Connor's going to do it. And apparently, you know, Connor, Connor thought about it and said, that. I'm not a replacement fighter. I'm not going to be looked at as I'm sliding in as a replacement for one of these guys. So he said, I'm not going to do it. I told you guys Connor was out. I said, Connor's not going to, you know, won't be the replacement now. And uh, yeah, so we never even asked Connor to fight. So I say this, I think it was on Jim Rome that I said it. I say this thing and like, like CBS sports, this isn't like, you know, bloody elbow or something. You know what I mean? CBS Sports fucking wrote it. Crazy, man. It's I, just unbelievable. Well, would he even have been able to get into the country even if he did want to fight in Jacksonville because of the pandemic? Could he get in the country? Because of the pandemic? Like, if he had accepted a fight in Jacksonville, could he even have gotten in? I don't know. I think that was the other confusion. You know, that's, but that's true. Get in. You know, for a while there, we, you know, we had that fight coming up in the U.K. And when the president had shut things down and he kept it open for the UK, and then eventually that got shut off too. So I don't believe he could have. I'm not saying that uh, that we couldn't have got it done if, if we had to, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but probably not. That's why we're doing Fight Island. Thank you for watching. Check out my MMA merch in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Cheers.